Algorithm, binary selection example. Now binary selection involves a decision being made between two choices, splitting the program down two distinct parts. The decision is made based on a condition being either true or false. In pseudocode, there are four keywords used for binary selection, which include if, then, else, and end if. So firstly, it all starts off with if, which is placed before a condition and is obviously accompanied by the criteria that says what makes the condition either true or false. Okay, so it might be if user guess equals two. Okay, and if that condition has been satisfied, then it will take us down to the then statement. Then is what happens when a condition is correct. So if the actual user guess equals two, these processes will take place. And then on the flip side, if user guess doesn't equals two, we then go to else, which what happens if the condition is false? And there the series of processes will take place when the condition has not been met. And then finally, we have end if, which closes off the if statement. So those four words are used in conjunction in order to do binary selection within an algorithm. So what we're going to do now is look at a scenario, and this is a correct incorrect scenario. So it's basically going to be an algorithm that checks whether a user's response is correct or incorrect based on the input matching a variable stored within a program. So that variable stored in the program will have obviously be a correct answer, and a user is trying to guess that correct answer in this scenario. So it all starts off with our begin keyword, okay? And I've named this program correct incorrect, just for name's sake. That's probably not a very good name for a program, but it outlines the scenario we're talking about here. And it begins the correct incorrect algorithm. Next, okay, we're gonna have the variable for answer. Now, no one is defining that. That will be defined within the program, okay? And But obviously we might be using this uh, sub-program multiple times within our program, thus, we are actually making a variable for the answer and it is the used to store the actual correct answer for a specific question within this program. The next thing we need to define is user guess and user guess is being obviously attained from the user using the system. It's what they think the response to the question is that we're asking them about in this program. Now, this then leads us to our if statement for our binary selection. So, if answer equals user guess. Okay, we want those two things to be the same. So that is our condition when answer equals user guess. In the case that it is true, we write after our then statement, which is what happens when the condition is true. We're going to display correct. Okay, if answer and user guess equal the same value, they're the same actual text or the same number written in by the user and matching what's on the system, correct will be displayed on screen. If they do not match, we then go to our else keyword. It's going to display incorrect because the two values do not match, okay, and they are not the same. So incorrect will be displayed on screen because the user has obviously written the wrong answer. So that's covered both scenarios of my selection. I now need to close my if statement using end if, okay, and ends the binary selection, okay, and then finally, okay, we end our program end, correct, incorrect, and that brings our algorithm to the end. So obviously you can see the binary selection in there between if and end if. We have our condition of answer equaling user guess. We have the then statement reflecting what happens if they are the same, it will display correct, and the else statement for them not being the same in relation to our condition, okay? And that incorrect will be displayed if obviously the values aren't matching there, end if, ending off the statement. So essentially, this is what our algorithm looks like. Okay, for that, if statements obviously used for selection, they're simple and easy to set up and obviously give us freedom within our programs now because we can now have branching pathways and we ha can be having different conditions making our programs more dynamic there. So I hope this video has given you understanding of a binary selection and the use of the keywords if, then, else, and end if.